Hi, this is Cynthia from Really Clear Designs. I'm going to show you how to seam a sweater sleeve today. I knit this sleeve back and forth. I actually am kind of a weirdo and prefer knitting back and forth than knitting in the round. So I need to seam. And to do that, I start out by taking a piece of yarn that's three times the length of the sleeve. So that should be plenty of yarn. And then I use Clover Wonder Clips and I clip the whole end of the sleeve together. That way, as I'm working, I know that things are even. Now I'll show you how to do the actual seaming. I've threaded my needle and I like to use the chibi bent tip needles. I just think they work the best. Now what I'm gonna do is look for the line of stitching that I wanna sew into. When you have stockinette stitch, you have a little bar that comes between those two stitches and that's what you're gonna work into. I usually pick up two bars at a time because I'm a little bit lazy. Nothing I've ever made has fallen apart, so I think I'm okay there. My working yarn is actually coming from the other side of the sleeve. This is a raglan sweater, and I'm going to be um, putting the sleeve into the body just the way it is here with the live stitches at the top. So I need to get it sewn before I do that. The first thing I'm gonna do, and this gets a little slow and awkward, is I'm going to come up through the hole of that of the opening of the stockinette stitch through that hole of the stitch that I want to seam into. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to make sure the yarn doesn't tangle in my needles. Very good. Then I'm going to go down on the other side. I normally come up from both sides, but the yarn is already attached on this side. So I'm going to go down here and I'm gonna pick up two bars and I'm going to sew. Go slowly here so that your yarn doesn't get all tangled. Now I'm going to go down where I came up and sometimes that can be hard to see. I'm making sure in this case to use the yarn that's exactly the same color as my sweater to show you because a lot of times in videos People show you how to mattress stitch using different colors of yarn, but that's not reality mattress stitching. So let's do reality. And I came up from here, so I'm gonna go down into the same place, and we're going to pick up two bars. So there's one and two, and there I go. I'm coming back over here, and you can see that this area is fairly open just because of where it is. I'm going to go down where I had come up before, and I'm going to pick up two more bars. I'm going back to the other side. I'm going down where I came up before, and I'm going to pick up two bars. I didn't go quite slowly enough there, so I got tangled. And you only want to make sure you only have one strand of yarn at a time. So if it starts doubling up, move it on your needle. I'm going to go down where I came up. Here's where I came up. I'm going to go down there, pick up two bars, and keep going. And you can see how I'm lacing back and forth here. Down where I came up. This is merino wool, so it's fairly slippery, and I can go back and forth this many times before tightening, but it's definitely time to tighten. So I'm going to pull it from the one end, 
gonna hold on to it and I'm gonna pull on it till things just close. And I definitely want them to close, but I want to feel like I have a straight line of yarn between the two. And notice how when I do that, you can't see anything at all in this area. It just looks flat. That's what we're looking for. Now the question is, where did I come up on the other side? And what I'll often do is open it up a wee bit and you can see where I came up. So I'm going to go down where I came up. And I've done an increase in here. So I want to get away from this sloppy edge. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to come up over here. One half a row over basically or one row over. I don't know. Honestly, it doesn't make that much difference. It is still going to look really good. I'm going to go down and I'm about ready to go over on this side too. And now I'm going to go straight down again. The secret for making it look good is no matter what you're doing, if you're sewing a curved sleeve in or whatever it is, you go down where you had come up. And if you can do that every time, your seam is going to look seamless. And I'm about ready to pull again, so I'm gonna grab this. I usually hold this end with my other thumb just to give it a little bit more security and make sure it doesn't ruffle, because I don't want that. And there I go. So it's still looking really good. It might wave a little bit or whatever, but it's, it's under my arm. It's gonna look fine. I love it. I'm gonna keep going down the sleeve the whole way in just this way. I'm pulling back a little bit so I can see where I came down. I'm gonna grab two stitches. And keep going. I like seaming in that it gives my body a little break from knitting. I think that's probably a good idea sometimes. It's something different. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna pull this again. You can see that looks lovely. And that's how you make a seam. So don't be afraid of them, they're really easy.